Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Bring the Vision video. What if I guess today is a video talking about some of the interesting things I did find in the private beta trailer. Now, I do want to say this is not a breaking news video or anything like that. Uh, some of this stuff we already seen from uh, previous gameplay, previous trailers, but I still wanted to make a video like this, kind of have a conversation with you guys and uh, go over some of the key moments I did find in this trailer. Uh, first of all, if you guys haven't seen it, I would recommend checking this out 100%. Really informative, uh, pretty interesting, and not too long, and uh, definitely worth the watch. It's it's pretty cool, as I said, you kind of get an idea of what's coming in the beta. Uh, so definitely, if you haven't seen it, check out the link in the description and watch the trailer. Uh, once again, it's about a minute and a half, uh, so it's not too long. Uh, but like I said, I wanted to do a video like this, kind of pull some screenshots from that trailer and talk about some of the things I did find interesting. Um, and if I do miss something, if it's like weapons or new mechanics, I guess you could say, um, or, or just anything that, that I did miss in the trailer that you found interesting, let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll go back to the trailer, check it out myself, and let's just have a conversation and keep the hype going. Uh, now, the first thing I found pretty interesting about this beta trailer is actually this. And I'm not really sure what you want to call this, if it's a dog robot or whatever you want to call this, but when I saw this, I had the same reaction as many people, and that was, what the hell is this? And again, I'm not really sure what you want to call this, but it is a robot with a 50 cal kind of weapon mounted on top of it. Uh, this looks pretty interesting, pretty crazy. Obviously, it is a PvE only thing. Uh, this in PvP would be absolutely insane and overpowered. But the one thing I found kind of interesting about this, this actually has the same uh, kind of emblem or mark as the third wave agents or the quote unquote hunters that some people are calling them. In the first trailer, we did receive a, uh, a month ago or like a month and a half ago. If you guys look side by side, you guys can see they have the same emblem, uh, which means they are pretty much in the same faction. And also, this is another screenshot from the same trailer, and you guys can see uh, that this enemy or, you know, these enemies that the agents are fighting actually have the same mark. So I'm guessing this is going to be part of the um, end game kind of scenarios and end game missions, and those are the agents and kind of the quote-unquote hunters or the third wave agents, whatever you want to call them, uh, that we're going to have to fight. Now, I do want to say I'm not really sure how we're going to be able to destroy this or or kill this robot. I'm guessing it's going to have a, a weak point or, or whatever, but again, really interesting. We haven't really seen anything like this in the division before. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I know a lot of people freaked out about this, including myself. And again, it just looks absolutely insane and uh, and, and really badass. The next image I want to talk about is actually this. Now, as you guys can see, this is an agent sitting on a mounted minigun and pretty much spraying everything in its way. Uh, now, this is actually something that hasn't really been talked about in the Division 2 that much. But yes, we are getting mounted turrets in the game, which should be pretty cool, very interesting, and uh, really good, especially if you don't have those type of weapons that do a lot of damage. Obviously, they're going to have cooldowns. Obviously, they're not going to be that insane and that overpowered. Uh, but this is something that's going to be, again, pretty cool for PvE. I am guessing this is only going to be for PvE. I haven't really seen any gameplay footage of this being used in a Dark Zone or Skirmish or uh, Domination, anything like that. Now, the reason I didn't want to touch on this is because I did see some people kind of confused about this and thinking the minigun is just coming as a weapon in the Division 2. And as I said, that's not the case. It's only a kind of mounted turret that you will be able to use for a period of time if you, uh, you know, if you find it and... The mission is going on in that location and stuff like that you'll be able to use it get on it and uh pretty much spray again everything in your way so like i said i'm pretty excited about this this should be very helpful especially for those raids especially for uh those harder missions but again um it's not actually coming as a weapon for the division 2. up next i do want to talk about the civilian settlements in the division 2 beta trailer uh, now at first i wasn't really sure what this is a hundred percent but after doing some research, after going on Google and Twitter, a lot of people are saying that this is going to be like the new safe houses. And to me, that makes the most sense as well. Um, as you guys know, in the Division 1, how we have the different safe houses with the different vendors located in them. So I'm guessing this is going to be the same concept, but instead of those vendors uh, being in those little safe houses that are just pretty much, you know, there. In the Division 2, they're going to be called settlements, and you can go in there, actually upgrade them as well. Uh, we have a little comparison image right here, how it looks in the beginning, and then how it looks later on after you complete the missions. And I'm guessing these uh, these missions are going to be something like complete this, or or secure this, or bring this supply back, or or bring that back, something like that. And then after you do those, 
um, the settlement is going to be, you know, looking a lot better and it's pretty much going to upgrade itself. So pretty cool concept, pretty, uh, pretty interesting how it's going to work. Uh, I'm not really sure how many of these we're actually getting. Hopefully it's a lot. So we have a bit more things to do in the game. Uh, but again, pretty cool concept, pretty cool change. And uh, again, I'm really excited about, about this and, and see how it actually works out. The last thing that caught my attention are actually some weapons that are coming back in the Division 2. We haven't really seen too much footage of them or, or gameplay, but they are confirmed in this trailer that they are coming back. Now the first one is a Thompson. As you guys can see, the person on the left is holding a Thompson. We haven't really seen too much footage of it, um, if any footage at all, at least I haven't really seen it. And I'm pretty excited about this one. Hopefully it's better than it, how it is in the Division 1. As you guys know, if you ever use this, in the Division 1, it's pretty bad, it's kind of useless, and hopefully in the Division 2, it is a little bit better. Uh, then obviously in the middle, you guys can see a person holding the EAK-47. On the right side, I'm not really sure what that is. Um, it kind of looks like a sniper to me with a silencer. And then all the way to the right, you guys can see a LVAC is making a return. Um, again, that's, that's something we already known about and um, expected. But the one thing was the Thompson that kind of caught my attention. And uh, again, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. And the final weapon is the MP7. So yes, this thing is coming back once again in the Division 2. We have already seen footage and gameplay of the AUG, the UMP, uh, something like the MP5. But we really haven't got too much information on the MP7. Uh, but from this trailer, once again, we do see this thing being kind of held on his backpack or his back um, as a secondary. So again, really excited. Hopefully it is really good as well how it was in the Division 1. Uh, maybe not as strong and not as OP as it was previously, but hopefully it's still viable. Hopefully it's still pretty good and, uh, you know, usable in PvP. And, uh, you know, hopefully it doesn't shoot marshmallows how it does right now. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. As I said, these are the things I did find pretty interesting in this beta. If I did miss something or if you do find something else pretty interesting, let me know in the comments. Uh, just let me know the timestamp or just let me know what it is. Um, you know, I read all my comments, so again, I'm pretty interested to see what you guys have to say. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty excited for this beta. Hopefully, it is not a disaster like the Anthem beta with the servers being down and delays and stuff like that. Hopefully, it goes smoothly. Um, I know we're getting a lot of content from PvP to PvE to the endgame missions and stuff like that, so there should be a lot of things to do. It shouldn't really get boring uh, for the three days we have the beta going on. Um, again, as I said, as long as the, the servers hold up and as long as there's no delays, uh, this beta is going to be really amazing in my opinion. Uh, but once again, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.